So I wanted to start this off and say, hope you guys are doing well. Check it out. We got two new DLCs added. We've played the band footage. Uh, we played the main story for Resident Evil 7. Not a hero is what everybody was wanting. And they also have End of Zoe. These both just dropped today for me. So uh, I was going to play them alongside of each other. But if you read the start of this one, it says weeks after Not a Hero. So I figured I might want to just go in order. I'll beat this one and then I'll play End of Zoe. So anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Really just, man, any and all support you show this, I'm just super excited to be back playing this game. And we get to play as Chris Redfield of all characters. So um, I love you. I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy this series. I don't know if these are going to be long like the original game or if they're going to be short. But I will be playing both of them back to back. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping we can break 20 or 30,000 likes on this first part. If you do that, I'll probably spam this series. And then once that's done, I'll start this one immediately. So, anyways, I love you guys. Let's do this. All right, guys, here's what the menu looks like. It's pretty basic. But I wanted to say I was going to do a giveaway. Uh, two copies of the gold edition of this game, which come with the DLC and everything. So, if you had a chance to win to see the like the video, I'll leave a comment of when you found my channel. And I'll, I'll actually announce the winners over on Twitter in a few days. So, anyways, let's do this, guys. Difficulty cannot be changed mid-game. I'm going to play normal. There's no other version of it. So, guys, this one we're going to be capturing Lucas, which he got away in Resident Evil 7. Is it ready? Can we begin? I can't help it, man. We've got work to do. Chris, did we lose him? No, no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right now, he's our only link to the connections. He's next on my list. All right, I'm in the mine. Signal strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact. But apparently Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. Alright, so it's been a while since I uh, played Resident Evil 7, so... I'm guessing the controls are exact same. So we're in a mine situation, and I like how our goal is to capture... Uh, Lucas, who got away in Resident Evil 7, for those who didn't play that game or whatever. He was just one of the part of the Baker family he was like the son and you never really saw what happened to him or actually Zoe for that matter uh oh you can punch enemies when they stagger okay oh my goodness Yeah, take it! Oh, that was sick. That reminds me of Resident Evil 5 when Chris had those, like, huge arms. <laughs> like, for some reason, he got swole somewhere in there. And, uh... Are you kidding? Oh, my God. So now, it's like they want... Okay, yeah, they really want you to, uh... Oh, this is the big one. I feel like I'm really rusty, but I'm having a really good time playing this already. This pistol he has is really nice. The lab is just ahead. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're still analyzing the data, but it looks like he's been running experiments with an E-type butamycete. Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. I just want to check back here just in case. I didn't know if there'd be like a hidden thing. Oh, we got files and we got the apprehend Lucas. Find the missing three soldiers. Okay. Is there anything else there? I guess that's it. So we have this. This is what I was looking for. So we got grenades. The pistol. He actually has a knife as well. Briefing document. 
Document outlining Operation Lurking Fear. Letter regarding umbrellas. Okay. So if I want to swap back to this, I don't think I need this, but I'll stick with the pistol for now since that punch seems to like one hit kill any of those uh, creatures we've fought. I wanted just to check back here. I heard these are gonna, like, both of these DLCs are gonna be a few hours long. I don't know if this one's longer than the other one or this vice versa, uh, which one's gonna be the longer of the two. But I heard they delayed all this just simply because they wanted to make sure that the DLC was actually really, really good. So, really exciting to see what happens with this. Uh, honestly, if I had to do a, uh, like a top five games of the year, Resident Evil 7 would be one of them. Uh, just because it, they kind of went back to the roots with it. Oh, I'm nervous. Hold on. It's like saving right now. Can you go through this? No, you can't. Oh, wait. You can. That's one of the soldiers. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Now, you can try and take that off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and... Lucas! Uh... No! Ah! Uh! Oops. <laughs> now, here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I don't bounce your head off the ceiling. Oh, and the same goes for your little soldier friends, too. Adios. Mood chachos. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, are you kidding? I'm picking up airborne spores. It's the E-type mutamycete. Your mask will switch automatically to rebreather mode. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. We gotta get out of here, man. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. It's like I'm aware of that. I'm gonna die. Yeah, there's the door right here, but... Don't forget about your oxygen supply. Looks like you're clear of any contamination. Oh, that was sick. You should head back and get that bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. Alright, contamination again. We can't stay in here long, that's for sure. Uh oh, here we go. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. I'm fully aware. <laughs> Trust me. I gotta run back this way. Don't forget about your oxygen supply. Let me get that on the shortcut or whatever. <sighs> Woo, that was nerve wracking. Got to figure out where you're supposed to go and then run for it. Chris, we finished analyzing the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought. The son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? Chris, we've been over this. Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. I know it must be difficult. And to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure. Whatever. I'm really impressed by this DLC so far. It's like they got the four band footages, which I played that. The one with the poker, the 21, that was my favorite. And then you had Jack's 55th birthday, and then you had, uh, what was the other one? Ethan Must Die. I never played those two on my channel. I mean, I'll just have to see how it goes, but. Oh, special bonus has been added. Defense coin. What is this? 
This one may toughen your body. What? I don't understand what that does. Hang on, these coins are said to have special effects. I don't remember getting that at ever, unless it came with this, uh, this DLC. Alright, let me go ahead and save it. Uh, you know, it's, it's weird. I don't know. They must have added some stuff to the game since I last played it. I'll check this out. I don't want to touch that yet. Hold on. Let's search around up here first. Oh, we get these things. What is that? Hold on. Okay, so those are just the... We need coins for those. That thing is, I don't have any. So I'm guessing we're going to be coming back to this spot pretty often. Can I put a grenade in there? I restore some health. Uh, no thank you. Let's go up here. Maybe, I guess we gotta search the area and find something. Could have sworn it was a flashlight option. Hold on one sec, guys. Alright, guys, I think I'm good. So we just gotta explore this area. I do feel like it is pretty dangerous to just be down here with just a pistol. Thing is, I like that you're playing as Chris Redfield, even though he really... You know, they, it's like they just pick up right where the game left, left off. I'll check this out. It's like he had it all planned out in the beginning. Think you got enough locks on there, buddy? Uh, I need a key. So, you know, it's funny. I, the only thing I have that I've gotten is that coin, but it doesn't. Obviously, that's not gonna go there. That's something else. I think that's just something I keep on me, and it just makes me stronger, or be able to take more damage. I guess. I don't know how that really helps. Uh, in a puzzle where I might die from, like, oxygen running out, you know? So we gotta explore each one. Guessing this might be, like, the central area for a little bit. Thing is, I don't know if this is, like, a full-fledged game or if it's is, like, you know, just a DLC that's only gonna be, like, an hour or two long. So, I guess we'll find out. You okay in there? Redfield? Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. I don't know if you guys just heard. What was that? This reminds me of uh, Resident Evil 2 you had. The, after you beat the game, you unlock... Actually, it wasn't even after you beat it. You had to get, like, a good rating. I think it was, like, A or S. And, uh, it actually unlocked Hunk and Tofu. And you can play as them to, uh... You run, like, a big survival map. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I, I used to play that all the time. I, I, I never beat it with Tofu because he only had a knife. Which I thought was absolutely insane, but... <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what we got. It says Key. Uh, let me try. I just want to try these. Dude, this gun is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Dude, they, they give you like the best weapons with him. Granted, I don't want to use all my ammo, but man, that's so nice. Just one and done. Oh, he's staggering, he's staggering! I really want that gun you get at the end of the game. I don't- I, I think you, uh... I think you get it in the Madhouse playthrough, you can actually use it, but I don't remember if that's true or not. Oh, are you kidding? Hold on, let me swap back. I think my health is good. Med injector. Think that was enough enemies right there? 
We have a crank, okay. Oh, back up. I couldn't honestly see, like, it. I forgot how dark this game was. I cannot not pick this thing up and carry it with me. Stun grenades. Alright, there's a cell key. Shit. Are you kidding? Gotta bring it back down, it looks like, yeah. <sighs> Need something else, what? Oh yeah, forgot you can, uh... <coughs> get some ammo from crates and stuff. Gotta be on the lookout, man, it's been so long, so... Alright, I'm about to use the pistol a little bit more, I think, because I don't want to use that other thing too often and then, you know, run out. <laughs> Glad I'm kind of exploring. Let, let me look down here a little bit more because there might be more down here than I'm seeing. Yep, look at this. Handgun bullets. Oh, a little coin. Yeah, we use those to get that. I guess it's like injections or something. If I'm not mistaken, those things increase your overall health, but I'm not 100% sure how it really works. This ought to do it. Are you kidding? What is that? Oh my god, guys. Look at that thing. Here, take that grenade. Please tell me what I'm looking at. I have no idea. It's something new. Oh my god. This new white variation is extremely resilient. Normal ammo isn't going to cut it. I'm open to suggestions. You'll need ramrods to stop it from regenerating lost tissue. You're going to have to fall back. Oh shit. He's right behind me. Normal ammo is not going to cut it. I got you. Dude, he's super fast, man. I'm wondering if, uh... Alright, run it back, run it back, run it back. Dude, I, you do not run fast in this thing. Oh, it's so nerve-wracking. You know, the thing is, my health is fine. Everything's all right now. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just the bait, and you fell for it. What? Shit. Take the filter. I'm a mask. Hurry. But you'll die. Uh, I'm dead either way. Let's uh. <laughs> rack, Grace. Just watch and learn. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm gonna die, dude. Put that on. I'm sorry. That sucks, man. High grade filter, all right. Yeah, I like this. It's uh, it's a whole new. I thought that kind of got me scared for a minute. Lucas is one sick dude, man. I guess you know it's it's the what was it the virus or something? I, I couldn't remember the exact ending, but like the way the game started. If you guys haven't seen the original game or played it. I would advise uh, not watching this for sure, because this... I don't think this is, like, spoilery, because it doesn't break what happens in the end, but... You know, you find out later on that, this, that the family is actually a nice family. They just... they had the, uh... I feel like I gotta go back to that area, because there was that extra door back there. Oh, no, guys. Uh, let me run back to the main area first. Yeah, let me go back here and at least save it before I run back in there, because getting that key is not something I want to have to do again. I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. Just remember we need him alive, Chris. Yeah, yeah. It's like you need a key of some sort. Alright, let me go ahead and save it. One sec, guys. Alright guys, just saved it. Had to actually reset my computer because it was acting funny and I didn't want to... <laughs> I wouldn't lose anything. Uh, I'm not sure if I need to go back. I, I'm tempted like I need to go back down that area. Because that, that was that one door. Even on that big monster down there, I think I gotta go back to it, man. I really don't want to do this, but... Ammo is not gonna matter. I threw like three grenades at when I first saw it, thinking that might do the trick. And when I found out that it didn't, I was like, oh man. So I'm going back down, and if there's nothing down here, then it doesn't matter. I just gotta stay away from the, uh, the big hoss, you know? Gotta try to make this first part kind of longer than normal. And then after that, expect- I mean, if this video does well, expect these parts quickly anyways, but... Alright. Can we go this way at all? This looks like something back there, but... I bet you that door- hold on. Oh man, I gotta go back out here against this thing again. Is he still out here? Maybe he left. Nope, there he is. Alright, let's go check this door really quick, guys. And I mean really quick. Oh, there's nothing there. Alright, so I'm guessing that key we had... You can either save the soldier or... Open that door. I guess you have to like pick and choose. Otherwise, I'm about to come back down here later on. All right, so at least we know now what's up. You know, I was trying to think of like Chris Redfield's first appearance. Well, I mean, he was in the first game, obviously, but they had uh, you had Claire Redfield. I think that was his sister. She was in the second game with Leon Kennedy, and then. The third game was Jill Valentine. I'm trying to think. Fourth game was Leon again. And then fifth game was Chris. And I for I cannot remember her name. Starts with an S, I think. I don't want to say like Shiva or something. I, I can't remember. Then you had six that had like everybody in it. And then seven just kind of went back. Let's, let's go back to the roots and... Oh, man. Uh, night vision required. Well, I do not have that, so let's, uh... Let's, <laughs> let's not do that yet. Alright, there's nothing up there. Wait, unless there was a crate up here I can break. I saw some wood up here, but... Um... If I'm not mistaken, these things might just increase your health. Or your oxygen or something overall. Alright, so those first two doors, we know that. Let's check, uh... I only see the three. This is like the only other one. And if this one doesn't require anything, we'll definitely go there, but... I feel like I've been here before. Oh, no, we have not. Ooh, here we go, guys. Yeah, we, we came down here, and I think there was like... 
Oh, wait, can you go now? Oh my god. Alright, so this is the one that has the key. It is, yeah, it looks like each one either has a coin slot or keys, but I mean, I don't really know if that's... Let me look at my stuff again. To toughen your body, and then the antique coin. Oh, that's locked. Can we go behind us? Nope, rocks there. <laughs> I didn't know if that would actually work or not. The thing is, I don't know how you're supposed to... Oh, that's locked. I gotta run past him. Obviously. Oh, there's some crates that I could have broken. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm just running for it. Let's go up here and go left. Let's see what else is back down here. Hold on. There's another one of those creatures, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wait. Here we go. Dude, getting back out of here is going to be a pain. Feels like PT all of a sudden. I bet you there's so many things I've already missed. Night vision required. How about that? I'm gonna get wrecked. So where do you get night vision from? Seems like I needed to do the two parts that I don't know, I'm just going in circles. This is where I got those things at. I came here, this was uh locked or jammed or whatever. Alright, we went back this way. I'm guessing we find night vision somewhere in here. I don't think I can break these, but let me just try. <coughs> No, I didn't think so. Thing is, where did those two enemies we saw go? Like, if they don't come back, I will not be mad. But, maybe they're just like there for like a jump scare type moment. No, nothing scarier than like make like something. Oh wait. Oh, another coin. Okay. Yeah, you really had to search high and low for that one. Oh, we got a explosive barrel back there. Hold on. I partly thought that that might actually trigger this gate thing being like broken or something and we can get in but it did not we got a ladder can't go anywhere there I just gotta explore more I think I'll tell you, like, Resident Evil 7. Alright, this is the part where we need night vision. Oh, we're, cut, we're at least about to come up on it. So, I'm, maybe we get it. Yeah, that's where night vision is needed. So, I, like, can't go any further right here. So, there's got to be something, like, right in here. Night vision required. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on.
Uh, okay, here we go. Those ramrods should allow you to take down the new white mold variants. Good. So these rounds actually will do the damage we need. And we got night vision. what I tell you guys? I had an idea. Dude, the upgrade system is so cool in this game now. Ramrods, these act mysterious toxins rounds for sure have been developed. So now we're about to use them. Thing is, I only have three. So we're about to go in this next area. I'm guessing we're going to get a key from this little... What? I mean, like, panicking over here. Let me, like, move back really quick. Thought something was about to, like, pop up. Alright, it's saved. Here we go. Oh, night vision. This reminds me of Outlast 2 all of a sudden. This is where if I was Chris, I would quit my job. I gotta go down there? Oh yeah. How are we gonna get out of here though? That's the real question. Maybe we're supposed to flip them all up. Hang on, is there like a box that shows like progress or anything? Hang on, let me see. Maybe they all have to be up. Oh yeah, okay. Up, down, up. Well. Uh, you know what? I just did it backwards. Unless... Yeah, okay, so this one needs to be down, and the other two, I, I just accidentally went for the second one first. Alright, this should do it once I get this... This last one... That should make it? Maybe the power comes on? I'm not 100% sure. Alright. No, let me alone. Are you kidding? Facehuggers! I don't want to waste my bullets on that, you know? Are you kidding? Get him off me! We gotta get out of here, guys. Oh man, I'm hurting. It's like alien all of a sudden. Because I didn't want to use these uh, these new rounds we got because I didn't know if you needed it. I'm glad I swapped when I did. Alright, it's saving. Maybe if we kill enough of the small ones, maybe the big bad boss comes out. Another antique coin. One shot. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> Our turret. Oh, this is like the traps from that Ethan must die thing. Okay. Oh, man. It's going to be rough, guys. Hold on. Let me... Uh... I need to put these two letters up. I don't need to be carrying them on me. Grenades. What does this one do?
They're just like a laser or something that's up high. Go back up, back up. Are they dead? I think once we get out of here, I'll probably end the first video, but definitely if you guys want more, just, <laughs> just destroy that like button and I'll definitely... I think when I played the original game, I did. Is there a turret right here? I think I uploaded like several parts each day until it was over. Alright, let's bring them back this way. See if they'll follow me. Oh, these are the regulars. Dude, I like that they added the punch in this thing. Oh, get wrecked. Hold on. Alright, guys, there's machine guns behind them. I don't know how you get rid of them, though. I feel like you don't have to use bullets right here. Let them follow you around. Come on, buddies. Meet me back here. You can do this. Hey, where'd they go? Man, I really don't want to waste bullets right here. I gotta just walk slow, I think. Oh, they break down if you get too far. Okay, so they'll reappear back this way. All right, how do you turn those things off? All right, so when we, we open this door up, the option is to go right, but you can't because there's turrets there. So let me let these things dissolve in the ground really quick. Now when I get up here, I'm going to take a left. <laughs> okay, you get them to follow you down this way if you want. I got it. So we got the night vision, so we can go to the third area now. Oh, that's one of the other ones. Come on, open up. Oh, that's scaring me. Alright, I'm out of ammo for the, uh... I feel like we went just for, like, in a big circle there. How do we get out of here, guys? Oh, watch out! No, oh, let me low, let me low! Oh, come on! Something else right there. I couldn't grab it though. I'm getting hit. Getting hit. Getting hit. Getting hit. I need to put that on one of the quick change things because that was not good at all. All right, we're out of there. I think. Woo, we made it. Salvation. We got a lockpick. 
Doesn't fit that lock. Of course it doesn't. We got the night vision at least, so let's go out here and save it. I think I'll stop the first video there. Probably a long first part though. I, I really enjoyed playing it. Ooh, that was nerve-wracking. So what do we get from him? I gotta put some stuff in this like little chest because we don't need the papers. The defense coin, I don't I don't see how I mean I got hit in like three times and I almost died. So I got four antique coins, I got a lockpick, uh shotgun shells, flashbang. I mean we got a lot of stuff we can use. So alright guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for all the support. And I will catch you in the next part. Take it easy, guys.